a major ruling today from the Supreme Court on the Texas abortion law. The court allowing the law to stay in effect for now, but it also gave abortion providers the green light to sue and challenge it. The Texas law bans most abortions after about six weeks into a pregnancy, no exceptions for rape or incest. Here's NBC's justice correspondent, Pete Williams. This is a modest victory for supporters of abortion rights in their fight against SB8, a law that Texas wanted to make impossible to challenge. The law allows anyone to sue abortion providers that violate it. State officials don't enforce it, so the question for the Supreme Court was, who can be sued? The court ruled unanimously that challengers of the law cannot sue state court judges since they don't enforce anything. It ruled five to four the challengers can't sue state court clerks or the Texas Attorney General either, but it voted eight to one that the challengers can sue members of the state medical board. That's just barely enough to let the lawsuits go ahead. Even so, the court said the state can continue enforcing the law while these legal challenges play out. So abortion providers can still challenge the Texas law in federal court, but they can't sue anybody who actually has the power to stop enforcing it. Chief Justice John Roberts joined the court's three liberals in saying the abortion providers should be allowed to sue the court clerks and the Texas Attorney General. And he said that by leaving SB8 pretty much intact, today's decision allows Texas to more or less nullify the Supreme Court's previous rulings on abortion. He quoted a Supreme Court ruling from 1809 that said this, if the legislatures of the several states may at will annul the judgments of the courts of the United States and destroy the rights acquired under those judgments, the Constitution itself becomes a solemn mockery, end quote. Today's ruling was about the structure of the Texas law. It was not about abortion. A ruling on that in a separate case from Mississippi probably won't come for several more months. Kelly? NBC's Pete Williams tonight.